please welcome to the stage Silver Executive Allison Damsko. I'm shaking, but let me tell you, I have waited six years to be on this stage. My first event was actually a Zing Fest in Salt Lake City, Utah, and I saw someone on that stage and I said, I'm going to be up there one day. You know, same with all those banners out there. I'm going to be on one of those banners one day. If you guys believe it, you can do it, right? I, I mean, this is a dream come true, even though I'm scared to death, right? <laughs> and I figured I'd get you up and dance a little bit because I'm going to talk about subscriptions. <laughs> That's everybody's favorite conversation, right? Some of the hard stuff. You can ask my team. Um, it's what I've drilled into them for years, you know? <laughs> yeah, Team Hocus Pocus knows what we're talking about. It's where the magic happens. So, you know, we build business, we build our business when we build relationships. We're a relationship building business. And the purpose of this business is to build residual income, right? Not just enroll people, we want them to stay, right? So in the beginning, you know, we've talked about this, people are loyal to you, not the products. They, they're buying you. They grow to love the products, though. I didn't know I was going to love trim sticks and be addicted to them for the rest of my life. But that's just what happened. I'm a pink lemonade girl. Anybody with me? Yeah, see the pink? So if you want to build a business with a backbone of residual income, you need to focus on subscriptions. You want stability and a strong foundation no one wants to start over each month. You know what? I'm supposed to be clipping, flipping my slides and, and they're just not flipping. Or maybe they are. Oh yeah, see, look, the backbone of a healthy business is residual income. Look at that. You're all going to mess up. It's okay. Just laugh at yourself. It's not that big of a deal. We're all human. I want to tell a little story about the difference between an experience with me with Rodan and Fields and an experience with me with Mary Kay. I had a girl that I bought Rodan and Fields from and everything that we talked about was through Messenger. That was the whole conversation. I liked the stuff, it was all right. But then I had a girl call me and talk to me about Mary Kay. And the fact that she picked up the phone and had a conversation with me made all the difference in the world. And I didn't even think twice about leaving the girl in Rodan and Fields and not buying from her anymore because we'd never built a relationship. But now I'm such a loyal person because I've, I've talked to this girl in Mary Kay and I've built a relationship with her. I couldn't imagine leaving her now. I would feel terrible. That's the kind of relationship you want to build with your people. You know, you're with your customers. You want them to know that you care about them and that they're important to you. So that's my little story. Um, there's 720 hours in a month, okay? If you enroll 10 people in a month, and that's pushing it because average is like four, right? You're gonna spend 15 minutes with each person on the phone. It still leaves you 717.5 hours in your month. Tell me you don't really have the time to get on the phone with people. You just don't want to. We all got complacent, copy paste, copy paste. We've talked a lot about that. Uh, it was easy for a minute just slinging links, but things have changed, y'all. People have changed. We've all been through a lot. So I always think about how the people that came before me, the Callas, the Freddie, you know, Cynthia, all those people, 
that what they did in the beginning to grow. So go back to the basics. Talk to the people. Find out what their fears are. Find out their why. Help them understand why their subscription is a non-negotiable for their success. It's a non-negotiable. How many people in here have a subscription? Okay. You have that because it helps keep you on track, right? And it saves you money, right? So why would that be scary for your customer? Why would you not want that for them as well? Don't shortchange your people because you're scared. That's not good. I hope so. I wonder if somebody else is flipping slides for me because I totally forgot about that part. <sighs> I don't even know where I'm at now or what slide I'm supposed to be on. So anyway, I lost 75 pounds in nine months. I've kept it off for about five years now. And it's been an incredible journey, but it's important to me to be a product of the product. Of course, I'm going to have times where, like, you know, I binge watch The Bachelorette and eat a box of Fruit Loops. I mean, we're emotional people, right? It's going to happen. But at 47, my, rate, my weight fluctuates just a little bit here and there. But my subscription is a huge reason why I've remained successful. Because if my products are coming to me, I'm going to continue using them. I don't even know where I'm at on these slides. Yeah. So here's the thing. For years, we were hitting executive on subscriptions alone. Take a moment and imagine that for yourself. $10,000 a month in residual income. How many people want that? What would it change for you? You know? And even though this last year has been tough, we're still more than clearing Platinum Director with subscriptions alone on our team. Team Hocus Pocus, y'all are badasses, just so you know. They've done an incredible job of duplication. Um, I can't imagine where we would be had we not built that foundation from the start. Seriously, I mean, this business is not just about enrollments, it's about retaining the people that enroll and teaching your, do, your team to do the same. It's how we grow, right? You get people to stay. So, so let's talk about short-term sacrifice, long-term gain. Oh, I'm caught up to my slides now, fantastic. <laughs> My OCD was struggling with that just a little bit. So what are you willing to sacrifice? How many people spend two hours a week watching Netflix? A little fun fact, it's not on my uh, screen, but do you know that people lose $50,000 a year watching TV that they could spend time building a business? Interesting, right? So when I first started this, Danny and I had a conversation about what things he could take off my plate to clear a path for me so I could focus on the income producing activities. Okay? I'm very fortunate to have a husband who wants to be my partner in life. He's a great man. He does most of the cooking. He handles all the grocery shopping. And he does the back office tasks that don't require someone to have to be nice. <laughs> Way to go, Danny. Yeah, he's great. Um, but you know, most of your customers are not going to set up a subscription that sticks with an enrollment link. Pick up the phone. One of the things that you can do to make a difference for someone is a couple of things. When you pick up the phone, the conversation allows you to ask them what their biggest fear is. What are you scared of the most? 
you know? And then ask them, you know, what do we need, you know, get a feel for what they're going through in life, and maybe we need to add on some XR2 for them, right? I mean, you have the opportunity to share your story, why you're doing what you're doing. That's huge, you know? Their subscription is the difference between their success and their failure, and yours. I mean, seriously, y'all, it's the difference. This isn't just about enrolling people, it's about the residual income. But, I mean, that's how we're gonna live on a beach one day and watch our grandbabies play in the sand while we're making $100,000 a month. That's my dream anyway. This is a tough one. We've talked a lot about excuses. We all have them. But I can tell you that there's not one day that's gone by in six years that I haven't touched my business, ever. Through sickness, through surgeries, through everything. It might take us longer to do it that day, but we do it. So after hearing the Iron Cowboy yesterday, y'all, none of us have any excuse to not do what it takes every day. What is required mentally and physically in this business pales in comparison to what it takes to even complete one Iron Man. No more excuses. Talk to the people who will talk to you. Keep following up with the people that are ignoring you. I assure you, they are still watching. They're still paying attention, right? Teach your team the importance of subscriptions and building residual income. Y'all stop removing hard work and struggle from the effort. Seriously, hard work and struggle are not options. They're fundamental requirements for growth. Convenience and greatness cannot coexist, okay? Just remember that. Convenience and greatness cannot coexist. Make it happen. Okay, thank y'all so much. Peace out, homies.